Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to troubleshoot, fix, and diagnose a non-working tail light. So when the bike starts, the tail light will always be on, and then when you apply the brakes, it'll get brighter. Here's the running light. But if there's an issue, say the bulb burnt out or the fuse popped or something else, um, it'll always just look like this. So to start, grab your key that you use for the bike, put it in here, twist it about 45 degrees to the left, then pull up on the rear of the seat, then slide backwards. But if you just look up in here, this is your tail light. It's just a single bulb. Um, all you can do is grab onto that, twist it counterclockwise or to the left, about 45 degrees and it'll come out. So once you twist it, pull straight back, and there it is. When handling light bulbs, always use gloves. If you touch it with your fingers, it puts oil on the bulb. It creates a hot spot, and it can die out prematurely. So the first thing that I tried, but this didn't fix my issue, was I replaced the bulb. So to do that, you can look at the bulb, and sometimes when the filaments will be kind of popped, or there'll be kind of a black area inside the bulb where it looks a little bit burnt, but like I said, this one's brand new. So to replace it, all you do is push down and twist it to the left or counterclockwise and pull it straight up. As you can see here, I'm using an 1157 bulb. Then the next thing I did is I took some sandpaper and there was a ton of corrosion in here, but that wasn't my issue either. And I gently just sanded the circumference of the circle as well as those two dots at the bottom where they make contact with the bulb. Once I replaced the bulb and cleaned the contacts, that still didn't fix my issue. So to reinstall the bulb, all you do is you line it up with the grooves, then you push it down and twist it to the right. There we go, that's now replaced. Now let's go ahead and put it back in the socket. As you can see, there's the two and the three grooves. So to get that in there, all I did is push it in and twist it clockwise or to the right. The next thing to check is the brake tail light fuse. It's just one fuse. Using an Allen wrench, go ahead and remove this bolt as well as the washer. Then gently grab the fender and pull it straight towards you. As you can see, these are the two tabs and they go into the two rubber grommets. Then next over here, if your tail light's still not working, check the fuse. So to do that, it just swings open. And as you can see, it's just a single standard blade 10 amp fuse. And to check a fuse, there's two ways. For one, you can just get a pair of pliers. Then as you can see, there's no black or burnt marks and the bridge is still intact. So electricity can still flow up and over. Let's go ahead and reinstall the fuse. Another thing to check is make sure the contacts aren't super rusty. It is something that could cause this, but it's highly unlikely unless there's just tons and tons of corrosion. As you can see, mine are clean. I also just took a piece of sandpaper for good measure and polished those up. It doesn't matter how it goes in, it can go in like this, or like this. Awesome. And go ahead and close that. Next, grab your multimeter, make sure the probes are set for voltage, so then you want to set it to voltage DC. Then go ahead and turn the key to the on position, that'll supply power to your tail or brake light. Uh, you could also start the bike, but I don't want to start the bike because it'll be too noisy and then you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. So now as you notice on top of this fuse, there's two little metal dots, and that is to test for voltage and continuity. So first I'm going to check this side of the fuse, so stick your red probe there. Uh, you could put the black one here, but the number would show negative on your multimeter, but it doesn't matter either way. Then using the black probe, touch anywhere that's metal on the bike, not a painted surface, because paint does not conduct electricity. So I'm going to check this side of the fuse. As you can see, the multimeter is reading 12 volts, there's a glare, and let's check this side of the fuse too. As you can see, the multimeter is now reading 12 volts once again. So that's just to prove that our fuse isn't broken but that also proves that we have electricity all the way up until this point. So from here to troubleshoot further, if our tail or brake light still wasn't working, we'd troubleshoot past the fuse. And at that point, it would highly likely be the wiring harness. Or if we have our probe here and just took that measurement and it showed zero volts, um, that would mean that we're not getting power up until this point. So that would mean that the issue um, relies in the wiring harness somewhere. And to troubleshoot further, go ahead and remove this bolt and remove the fender. It's the same as the other side. And in my case, what had actually happened is this plug here goes to the tail light. As you can see, there's the three prongs for the running lights, the brake light, and then the ground. And then it plugs into here, into the mastering wiring harness. And I have no idea how it happened. I must have not clicked it in tight enough. But this was actually just dangling, and so it turns out this whole time it wasn't the fuse, it wasn't the bulb, it wasn't the corrosion, it wasn't corrosion in the fuse slot, but this simply was just unplugged. Let's go ahead and connect that together and hear it snap. 
there then we can go ahead and reassemble the bike but thanks for watching subscribe for more